objective to learn how to change the diaper and under pads and to learn how to serve the bedpan for the patient's comfort. Procedure Before proceeding to the patient's room, make sure to check the patient's chart to confirm the identity, room number, and doctor's order. Knock on the door three times for courtesy and to inform the patient and any relatives or visitor that you are entering the room. Good morning, Ms. Jane. I'm Joanna. Good morning, Ms. Jane. I'm Jelena. And we are your caregivers for today and we will help you change your diaper and other pads and also we will serve your bed. If there are any visitors such as relatives or families, you can politely ask them to leave the room for your patient's um, integrity and dignity. Raise the bed of the patient for her comfort. Then, turn off any cooling agents such as the air conditioning system. Then, open the windows for proper air circulation. After turning off the cooling agents, do proper hand washing and wear clean gloves. Wearing clean gloves will help us avoid any direct contact to the soil diaper and under pads of the patient and it will also help us avoid any contamination. Lower the side rails for you to assist the patient to maximum comfort. Carefully remove the blanket or linen and place it near you where you can easily get it. Always inform the patient to every procedure that you will do for them not to get stuck. Jane will allow remove your diaper. If conscious, ask the patient to raise and bend their legs. If not, place her in a lithotomy position. Placing in lithotomy position will give us a better access to clean the underside of the patient. Scrape any fecal material with the diaper, then clean her with a wet wipes. Patient assistance is conscious. Miss J, lift your butt at the count of three. One, two, three. Remove the diaper, do double bagging, then weigh the diaper. I've written in the chart as per doctor's order. While in lithotomy position, cover the patient with the blanket to protect the dignity and integrity of the patient. Ask your patient if she is cautious to lift her butt in the count of three. Miss J, have a now place her bedpan. Lift your butt at the count of three. One, two, three. Put the bedpan through the sides. Then lift the patient for a while to defecate. Miss Jane, um, I will leave you for a while. Just call us if you uh, if you're already done that. Miss Jane, if you're already done that evening. Once the patient said yes, carefully remove the blanket that was used to cover her. Then get a wet wipes to clean her underside. After cleaning the patient, assist her in lifting her butt, then remove the bedpan. Ms. Jane, at the count of three, lift your butt. One, two, three. Discard the contents of the bedpan in the toilet. Flush it for three times, then clean the bedpan and remove your gloves. Then, place the other on the chest. Assist the patient in the hips and in the shoulder, then turn her sideways facing the rail. Roll the underpad in more than 
touching only the sides of the under. Shove the rolled underpads to the side of the patient. Then, place a new underpad underneath. Shoving the underpad as close as possible to the patient's side will help us remove and fix it easily later on. Place the new diaper and make sure that the underpads and diaper is in the center. Now, fix the diaper and underpads. Make sure that the diaper is not too tight or too loose. Fix the patient's gown, assist her to get to a comfortable position, and put a blanket back for her comfort. Raise both the side rails for the patient's safety, then ask if there's anything else you could help her with. When you are done, you can now do your documentation. In documentation, weigh the diaper to check for the liquid output. Check for the color, consistency, and amount of the fecal material. And take note on the time when you change the diaper and underpads of the patient and the time when you serve her your bedpan. And that's how you change diapers and underpads. I am Juan Asik.